plugs yet. Kim Moore, first puller. Here we go! This is one of four pack rat trucks that we're gonna see out here tonight. Now she is our test puller in the two wheel drive class, 314 and five. See if she's gonna take that or turn it down and come back later place. in the class. Second place, Carl Atley, lethal weapon, 344 and nine. And your winner, Trump wins again, Shane Kellogg, the Trump truck, 3, 45, and 8. that Wayne Timmerman out of Cuba City, Wisconsin. S10 Chevrolet. Kim Moore went 314 and five to set the distance. Wayne Timmerman, 318 and seven. Do we have a telehandler coming down here? We have a telehandler coming uh, down here? Oh, there looks like they're adding weights to the Iron Man right now. Jordan Moore out of Mankato, Minnesota. One of the pack rats, this is pack rat eight. Modified two-wheel drive trucks out there to the track right now, and they're loading up the sled for the Unlimiteds. These trucks weigh 6,200 pounds, 575 cubic inch motors, 1,471 blowers on top of them, 18, four, 16, one tires, Two-wheel drives have a 30-inch hitch height, 30 inches high as, a, high as they'll let you go. And they all check hitches. Also coming up next on the other track. Wiley Old Fox does it again. He, I don't know, he's gonna take over the lead or not. That'd be the 318 and seven. Laid down by a tough pulling truck called Showtime. Wayne Timmerman in the driver's seat of that one. Had that truck weighted just about right, carried the front end down through there pretty well. Hey, Phil, I got my first bid for the, for the Calcutta. All right? All are, right. Are you ready? How much do you want to bid on Jamie Bush? 750. Is it 750 like 7.5 or like $750? $750. $750 is our first bid on Jamie Bush right here. So You might you might want to check up the stands on that one to make sure. Oh, I did. We're good. You're all right. We're legit. Way to go.
Nice, pretty pass right there by Gavin Wangen out of Harmony, Minnesota. Good looking. Little five window coupe right there called the back 40. Dale had some health challenges last year. Didn't get to drive this truck very much. Somebody else drove it for him. Real nice look, a little Pulling truck right there, a 2006 Dodge Dakota. See what he can do. Has to beat a 319 and six. Laid down by Gavin Wangen in the back 40. Phil, he just never got really rolling. I don't know if it was a gear selection or something like that, but he just overpowered the track and missed that setup just a little bit. It's easy to do. It's easy to do because you don't want to overcompensate or undercompensate and then have it go flying in the air. You've got all that power on there and just a couple, uh, just an inch on that throttle makes a world of difference in what you got. He looks a little disgusted. He's throwing his gloves around. Get a distance for him here in a minute. Me? I am. How are they going to stop him, Phil? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody is really happy right now. Did you see him pick up speed yep, about 150 on. foot? He was just took off and he went. You've talked about that all weekend. Between 150 and 200 feet, you know when they're gone or not. So where's the Jason Sullivan cheering section at? He has to have some fans here from Edgewood, Iowa, not too far away. Man, that was a nice pass. Yes, it what was. What did he get? Watch up there on the screen, see what he gets. Holy cow, 25 feet, that's all. Oh. You said 319 was the lead, right? 345 and four, yeah, 319 and six. Gavin Wang in the back 40. I thought that was a pretty pass. Way to go, Sullivan. You're in the lead. He's a happy boy. Has to lay down a good pass to catch a corn burner. These guys sitting in the seats of these pulling vehicles got to just absolutely love this track tonight. This is unbelievable, the track these guys put together. They did rework the track over the winter, added a bunch of sawdust to it, which helps to hold it together. So they have improved not only the roads out in the pits and a few other things, but they also reworked the track and made it, oh man, so much better, so much better. Our presenting sponsor, can they help each other around? See what we can do, let's get down there a long ways, take over the lead.
Nothing wrong with that at all. Might have wanted to pick the front end up just a little bit more off the track than what it did. This truck always seems to work better if the front end is up off the ground. I've seen this truck go down the track many, many times over the years. You can always tell when he's going to have a really good pass as the front end comes up about two feet and just sits there. 323 and three. Bumped his trailer main back into fourth place. 323 and three. Tyler Johnson, bit of magic three out of beautiful Mod class with a little tractor called Double Trouble. And we're gonna see another Kielmeyer out jack. Get a distance for Dustin here as he comes off. 329 and five, gonna put him up, I think second place on that one. Yep, 329 and five. Dustin Amundsen bottoms up out of Nurse Strand, Minnesota. All right, fans, I found Brett Berg over here in the stands. Brett, you wanna talk about your, well, we didn't hook tonight. You had the mini rods out tonight, right? Yeah, Donnie and I had the mini rods out, that's all we ran tonight. How many years have you been coming to Rockwell with the moneymaker? Folks, we're getting down towards the end of the show here tonight, so if you still need to buy 50-50 tickets, you need to do it in about the next two minutes because the girls are going to take, take it back and get the money counted. And uh, Jeepers Creepers out of Iowa Falls, Iowa. Troy Warshkow in the driver's seat has to be to 346 and 4. Troy Warskow in the Jeepers Streepers Golden Truck 304 and 7 going to put him back in 10th place. Folks, we are cutting off 50-50 sales as of right now. We need to get it cut off and get the money and tickets turned in so we can get a winner called out here. We're down to just a few more two-wheel drives. Have a little trouble getting it out of gear. Well, it says Brent Peterson's driving tonight. From over by, well, not too far from Bill Fickenbaum over there around Tripola. I don't know if Brent's ever drove this truck. Where's Lynn? Don't see him. Lynn Stummy has owned this truck for many, many times. It was a session winner at the Super National in Toma, Wisconsin. Oh, it's probably been 14, 15 years ago, something like that. Turbo power, twin turbos on the front. 
school, by golly. Still in high school. Fire down there. Harold Phipps, right there, Johnny on the spot, lift the hood, lift the body up, take care of it. Three oh eight and six for Chaz. Penny will give me the order of finish here and we're cleaning up a little oil spill out there from Billy Douglas Jr's tractor spook gone wild the NTPA extends its appreciation to the following 2019 Grand National Point Fund sponsors Case IH Agriculture Budweiser Dairyland NTPA Super Nationals in Toma Wisconsin Senpico Lubricants Columbus Motorsports, Heritage Iron Magazine, Midwest Wheel Incorporated, National Tractor Pulling Championships in Bowling Green, Ohio, Power Bore Cylinder Sleeves, Profab Machine Incorporated, Riverside Engine Incorporated.